Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Pressure is mounting on uh, SADC leaders as uh, the international world is speaking against the atrocities Mnangagwa is perpetrating on the innocent civilians, leaders in opposition, activists of human rights, and other citizens of Zimbabwe. This has been a thorny issue right throughout SADC, uh, AU, and of course throughout the whole world. As we are watching the developments that are happening in Zimbabwe, we are seeing that uh, the challenge that is being thrown at uh, leaders, especially in SADC, over the behavior of Emerson Mnangagwa is beginning now to make, uh, to be heard. No, doors are beginning to be knocked and uh, phone calls are being made. We understand there is a bit of talk that is now beginning to happen within the corridors of SADC about the very activities that are happening in Zimbabwe, the human rights abuses and the torture that we are seeing Emerson Mnangagwa perpetrating on our people. So as we continue to talk about this uh, very idea, we are now hearing, of course, uh, is something that we were expecting from Zambia uh, from for a very long time. We've been saying about talking about this very issue quite a long time. Many shows we've been talking about this, that the, there's a high possibility that uh, we may not have the Zambian president, uh, President Hakainde Hichilema, coming into Zimbabwe, considering the shipwreck of democratic uh, uh, and diplomatic uh, uh, you know, relations that we have seen happening between uh, Zimbabwe and uh, Zambia after the reckless statements made by Emerson Nangagwa when he visited Putin in Russia in some months ago. So the issue has still not been resolved as Zambia had uh, to appeal to SADC and the African Union to intervene in this issue, but we have not heard of any development so far that have taken place. Like usual, we don't see anything moving when it gets into the hands of SADC. Just like the SIOM report that came from their own people, their own team, that they are uh, allocated for uh, the observ observation of elections in Zimbabwe, they came out with that report. SADC had two meetings, one in Angola, one in Tanzania. They discussed this very report and they concluded in Tanzania that in Zimbabwe there is no president, there is no government. Nangagwa shall be interim uh, while uh, the processes that need to be put in place are still uh, being awaited for. But what, did, what happened after that? We are down months and months down the lane. Nothing still is happening. That's just like the same way that the Zambian issue of appeal that came through SADC, we have not had any redress to that issue. That already is a cause for concern, especially for people that are progressive and people that want to see a functioning SADC. Unfortunately, like we have always said, this SADC is not going to be uh, going any far. Right. It's too dangerous to step into Zimbabwe for any reason. Uh, Zambian youth have told President Hichilema. And uh, these are the leaders, uh, leaders in the youth uh, wing of the ruling party in Zambia. They have continued to talk and encouraging their president not to step into Zimbabwe for any reason because it is too dangerous to do so. And indeed, I think even us as Zimbabwean people, we are still sending the, that very message back uh, to Zambian people. Zambia is our, our, our neighbor. Zambia are our brothers. Zam brother, brothers and sisters, we've always enjoyed a cordial relationship with Zambia. Uh, so we don't even want Amazon Nangagwa or whosoever or Zanpiev to mess up the relationship that we've always enjoyed with our brothers and sisters of Zambia. So as Zimbabwean people that are concerned, we continue also to echo the same word that mm -mm, it's too dangerous dangerous for President H. Lema to come into Zimbabwe. Emerson Nangawa is a murderous murderer. He's a bloody filthy. And uh, I'm telling you, yeah, he can murder. If they have done it to, to, to President uh, uh, Mwanawasa, they can still do it to President H. Lema. They hate he, he, President H. Lema with all their guts. I'm telling you, so it's, it's, it's never ever supposed to be any, you know, uh, uh, you know, never develop so much trust for ZANU-PF and uh, Emerson Nangagwa. Those people, they will just kill without even thinking twice. You are seeing what they are doing to their own citizens. So all that we continue to do to, 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 to say to the Zambian people, Joseph Kalimwe, my brother out there, uh, we continue to echo the same statement. Please encourage your president not to come to Zimbabwe. And we are even saying that to other presidents uh, who are also in the Sadiq uh, community, to not to come and walk right on the red carpet of the blood 
of the Zimbabwean people that has been made by Emerson Mnangagwa and San PF. So Kalimbo has written that with all that's been say, said here, it's not safe for President Ichilema or any of us to be even to, to be or even spend a night in Harare or step in Zimbabwe in its entirety. Uh, the hate on Hichilema, an innocent man, is deep rooted from the top. President, let's stay home among our people. Indeed, that is very, very correct and very true. And uh, we've had people responding to that. Some saying other leaders must also follow suit. Harare is not safe. Uh, somebody also here, Native, says, Good idea, Zanu PF Inoroy. Uh, uh, and uh, of course, we are unlike your friends, Americans. Okay, of course, now with those are now uh, the Varakashi who are you know anti anti that you know Varakashi would come out and insult. They are insulting uh, people that are giving advice to their president. That is not safe to be in Zimbabwe. And Varakashi are, 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 are unhappy. Uh, they, they are angry about that and they are insulting. You know why they are insulting? They are insulting because they want Ishilema to come so that they can poison him. So, you know, what kind of witches are these? You know, they, they are fighting that, no, I'll let him come so that we can kill him. They, their own, his own kid and kin are saying, no, our president, we will still love you. We still want you. Please don't go. You are not safe there. Those ones are saying, shut up. Let him come here so that we deal with him. Just imagine. <laughs> the level of witchcraft that is in Zanu PF, I'm telling you, family, we've always been saying this. We've always spoken about this. It's so alarming. But, uh, of course, all that we continue to say to the Zambian people and the, and, and the Zambian leadership is that be careful uh, when you deal with the ZANU-PF and Emerson Nangawa. Be very, very diplomatic. Be very tactful. Don't just, you know, uh, play the fool with these people. They are up to no good. They can eradicate. They can eliminate. And what we want to see is life going on. We want to see life moving on. We want to see uh, people being protected. We want to see... Uh, you know, uh, you know, good leadership uh, uh, going on, especially in Sadiq. We want to see more and more of the good leaders coming up. People like uh, President Ishilema is one of the best leaders that we've had in Sadiq so far. And we want to be praying for more of such kind of leadership to be coming in different countries. And then when we can have such kind of leaders, I'm sure Zimb I mean, uh, Sadiq will be a better country or be a better nation. Imagine if we could have um, somebody like Musima Imani in South Africa or maybe Julius Malema in South Africa. Then we can have um, uh, uh, somebody else in, uh, in, 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 in Botswana who is not Masisi. And we can have... Uh, uh, Hichilema, that other side. Then Angola, we have somebody with a younger person in uh, coming in Mozambique and uh, something like that. You see, it 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 really would uh, work. Even that lady in, Z in in Tanzania, she's good. She's fairly good. Things are moving on well. The country is prospering. We don't have uh, reports of any you know uh, shenanigans that are happening in that country. It seems uh, things are just going on well, and uh, we continue to say kudos to them. Their country is developing. Their people are, are okay. They have they have food. They have everything. Their life is moving on and prospering. So that's what we want for our country and for any other country. So all that we need in Sadiq and in these African countries is the right leadership. What we don't have is the right leadership. We are sick and tired of the Ramaposas and the Mbalulas. We are sick and tired of the Mnangagwas. We are sick and tired of the Masisis. All these people must go and we just begin to see some other breed of people that come in, people that are able to stand up for the truth, who are able to speak the truth to power and tell each other when they start to mess up that, no, 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 my brother, you are not treating your people correct. That's not how we do things. That's the truth. And that is going to help uh, cause Sadiq to become a progressive and a democratic uh, a, you know, block. Unfortunately, we are not. Because look at them right now. They are failing just to tell Mnangagwa that, no, you are embarrassing us. How then do you expect us to come walking majestically into, into your country when we are hearing such reports like the reports that we are seeing and hearing? And the, who, is, who, does, who has the guts up amongst all these presidents? Not even a single one has the guts to rise up and to tell Emerson Mnangagwa that stop what you are doing. It's wrong to abuse your people and, uh, you know, the, the, the kind of uh, atrocities that we are seeing being perpetrated on our people by Emerson Mnangagwa. We expected at least to hear maybe Sadiq, not necessarily a president. These presidents could have said, okay, let's channel our, our concerns through Sadiq and then let Sadiq just write uh, uh, maybe on their newsletter just to say, no, please stop uh, whatever could be happening in Zimbabwe. It's not right for the people of Zimbabwe. Just that, you know, if, if these presidents are shy to, all, to look Mnangagwa 
in the eye and tell him that you know what brother brother uh, what you are doing brother brother is wrong brother brother so that's what we are saying we want them to tell each other like brothers uh, to be frank with each other help each other to come out of the, some of these problems because the same problems that they are allowing Munangagwa to continue committing are going to come back and bite them at the end of the day the problems that we are seeing uh, other countries suffering because of the situation in Zimbabwe will continue to persist as long as they continue to turn a blind eye on what Emerson Nangagwa is doing in Zimbabwe. So this remains a thorny issue. It remains an issue to, of discussion, a bone to chew that is amongst these leaders and they definitely need to chew their bone with confidence and make sure that all these issues are ironed out. Otherwise, this sad thing remains null and void. It remains in, in, in an entity at all. Sadiq remains just a toothless bulldog. It remains an old boys club. And nobody's going to have respect for Sadiq. And no progressive and uh, democratic countries would want to spend their money uh, on assisting such a kind of an organization. And like always, we will continue to call upon the progressive and democratic nations that pull your help, pull the plug on, on, on Sadiq, pull the plug on them. Because as long as they are not democratic, as long as they don't understand the importance of human rights, then you should not be sending your money. That is uh, coming from the coffers uh, co contributed by people that are enjoying democracy only to give them to undemocratic countries and leaders. If they don't understand the importance of democracy, then they don't deserve to have help that is coming from democratic nations. So that's the truth. The truth hurts, but the truth remains true. And truth shall continue to be spoken, and in only the truth shall set us free. So this is the situation that we are finding ourselves in. Uh, Zambians continue to encourage their president not to step into Zimbabwe for any other reason, because Zimbabwe is not safe. Indeed, it's not. And we want President Ishlema to live on, to, to fulfill the mandate that he has uh, upon the Zambian people, and not be destroyed by some bloodthirsty animals and vampires that are in Zimbabwe masquerading as some kind of government. We are going to deal with them as the Zimbabwean people. We are going to push them out. This is their season of their end. And we are going to have a new set of leadership in Zimbabwe. And Zimbabwe will work. And once again, we will reunite with the Zambians, our brothers and sisters. And we move forward together in trade and in relations and in diplomatic associations. That's exactly what we are talking about. And it's going to be happening in this very season. So Zimbabwe, our time to rise is now. Let's rise up, Zimbabwe. Let's fight. Let's push until we get our country back. Zimbabwe must be free. Zimbabwe will be free. ZANU-PF must go. ZANU-PF must bite the dust. This is the season of change, and it's not going to be spared. Thank you so much, family, for joining me on this show. Continue to be with us uh, on the platform. We have more and more shows coming. Today, we are going to be speaking until maybe well after 10. We are going to be still on. So don't go away. Remain blessed. Till we meet again, subscribe, like, and share. Until we shall meet in the upcoming show.